introduce my guests this evening, Advocate Anubha Srivastav Sahai, President of India White Parents Association, Dr. Sudha Acharya, National Progressive School Conference uh, from uh, the National School Progressive Conference joining us today. Also is Nayan Parikh, educationist. Therefore, I want to ask here again the other important questions here, uh, Mr. Nayan Parikh. Uh, in, uh, on July 25th, uh, 2012, another child, Shruti, it happened in Tamil Nadu again, uh, died in a similar way. That is when the Tamil Nadu government submitted the draft rules. So what it shows is it's become a cycle. Then there is a wake-up call, rules are framed, but over a period of time, the laxity creeps in. What do we do about this? In fact, my uh, daughter was studying about, I think this is seven, eight years before, and we are talking about Chennai, but in Ahmedabad, we had a similar incident, same thing. Hmm. The child got crushed when the bus driver took it in reverse. So I feel this is uh, not Chennai, this is not Ahmedabad, this is, happens often. And I think when a child dies like this, uh, I mean, something in all of us die at yes. that moment. And uh, uh, I have a few suggestions as to how do we make this work. One is hmm. uh, that we have made the rules, we have Supreme Court guidelines. How do we make it pakka? Do, I think uh, one is that we have a license. So motor vehicle license, there is... LMV, which is light motor vehicle, HMV, which is heavy motor vehicle. Can we have SMV, which is school motor vehicle? And it happens in some of the countries where okay. school drivers, bus drivers are specially trained and they are trained times and again so that they know how to handle the child and how to handle the children, especially because they get down, they run fast, they at times miss or drop some article and they they get behind the bus at times where a driver cannot see. So how do we make some of our drivers very special skilled drivers for handling children? And yes. therefore, I feel that let there be SMV and only children or only bus drivers who have SMV mm. and they get renewed every two years. They can only drive. That is mm. one. Mm. Second is as to most of the schools outsource this transportation activity. Though you might have a committee Yes. Actual transportation is outsourced to some uh, buswala transport guy who does it. And I feel that if there is an accident like this which happens, and we talked about three accidents, I think two by you in Chennai, I knew one in Ahmedabad, and there would be many more that we don't know about. Yes. In that case, can we provide for automatic cancellation of school license? Because finally committees are there, uh, the bus drivers are there, but who's responsible? So I'm saying that if a child dies on your school premises by your school bus, no matter who is the transporter, the school's license should be suspended for a while. Second, can we do something more than this? Which means that uh, we say that for three years, the school cannot work for five years or automatically it is kind of canceled forever. What is the strictest action we can take because a child's life is lost? And we can't take it easy that we have enough rules. How do we make it automatic that if you commit this kind of a crime, then your mm. school can no longer run? Yes, there must or be. Or the driver yes. who did this. Mm. We have to cancel his uh, driving license forever. How do we do that? And mm. there are so many countries who do it well. I was in America and I think they treat children so preciously. If there is a school bus where the children are getting down, then they are stopping the traffic. We stopped up to the time there was red flickering light for the for the people to know that here the school children are getting down and you have to be 10 feet away from that school bus. You just can't be there. So some other vehicle also may not run over those children. Yes. Children are also taught. We must also, those children are uh, young, they are full of energy. At least in America, children are taught that they cannot cross a road or go behind the school bus. They cannot, if they no, go No, we in all do that, bus, sir. As a parent, I can tell you, every parent does that. I mean, there can be no bigger concern for a parent than the safety of a child. We do tell our children that be mindful of your step, but they are children. And like you said, deterrence must be set. There must be exemplary punishment. Heads must roll. Otherwise, no lessons will be learned. I'm afraid I'll have to leave it at that. But I thank you all for joining us here on this discussion. And thank you very much for all the valuable suggestions.